once again, you beautiful nerds. I am Wildfire One. You are watching and listening to Nerds and New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. And this is episode 122 for season seven. With me today is Monster74. Glad to be here. We're gonna be talking about the PlayStation 5. And we're gonna be talking about like some of the games that are coming out, you know, for the PlayStation 4 this year. Some will probably already come out already, and some of them that just just games that we want to discuss. And um We'll talk about, you know, because we just recently, as I know this podcast is coming out in July sometime, but just recently they posted the uh, the pictures of, as we're recording this, they just recently posted the pictures of uh, the PlayStation 5's controller, and we're going to discuss that yeah. as well. So uh, uh, here we go. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so first and foremost, uh, let's talk about let's talk about the specs for the PS5 that's come out that, that they've talked about so far. Yes. So the the GPU is going to be, I guess, AMD Ryzen Z2s, eight cores, um, running, I believe, variable frequency up to three point five gigahertz. Okay. So, so it's it's a it's a beefy CPU. Yeah. For what it's going to be. Yeah, and it also the the GPU is the AMD Radeon, which. I'm not familiar. Radeons are pretty good, but because I'm I'm not a, a PC a master computer. race. But you're a laptop is, master race. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so so it's supposed to have like ray tracing, uh, a lot of ray tracing, I guess, ex- the acceleration. Yeah, the, I guess the PC. It started with the PC, and it's good that we're seeing so, it in our consoles. So it's running like 10.3 teraflops. Teraflops. That yeah. So what is it called? Mm-hmm. Yep. Straight off the PlayStation. Nice. And that's where we're getting our information too. We're getting off the PlayStation yeah, blog. The PlayStation blog. Yeah. So, so the, the the system memory is also a GDDR six, sixteen gig. Um with a four forty eight gigabyte per second bandwidth. So I don't I don't I don't get the bandwidth part, but that's what it says. Um that's okay. Uh, so well, let's get to the hard drive. Let's talk about the hard drive because I know a yeah. lot of people are butthurt about the hard drive not, and myself included are butthurt about not having a terabyte or more because yeah. the games are going to be even bigger, you know. For so apparently the 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 hard drive is supposed to be eight hundred twenty five gigabytes of a solid state drive, mm-hmm. which is supposed to be like faster. It's a good. It's going to be. It's going to be as far as hard drive speed. It's going to be, like, next to no load time, yeah. supposedly. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be 5.5 gigabytes a second read bandwidth raw. So I don't think it, it, that's not, that it like, compressed or... It's just not a very big hard drive, but that really doesn't matter yeah. because if it's anything like the PlayStation 4, you, you can have a, um, a second hard drive. You can get an extra you, hard drive. You, you can actually, I think they're going to make it where it's their own special custom solid state drive so you're only gonna be able to buy playstation brand ones to mm. go inside of it i think maybe later on they might do it where you can do an external but i i am not well they did that with the ps4 this. and we'll see yeah. that i mean we'll see hopefully they do because my i love my external hard drive yeah you got the same one. Oh yeah i got it because of you mm-hmm. i love that so. thing I got tired of having no space in my, my fucking PlayStation 4. <laughs> and now I, can, I have all the games that I own, plus, you know, and, and I still got room. I still got room for maybe more than that. Like, but yep. I maybe took up half of it, but yeah. Also, at this time, they had not released any pictures of the PlayStation 5 yet. That we know of. There's, I think there's yeah, a few things online that shows um, it maybe like, like kind of what it, it, the concept, and it looks like a spaceship, but you, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Like the weird-looking... Yeah, where it goes like yeah, like inverts at one point, and it's, yeah, I I uh, I mean, I would be crazy. I would like that design. That design would be different. It's would, not would bad. Seen it before. It's it's not a bad design. It's just I don't know, like if if because it could stand up or sit on its side, and I like that about yeah. the, what the PS2. I think they did that with the PS2. Yes, yes. You could also do it with the PS4 too, but it's it's I'd the PS4. Mind. I think the the game discs are going to be the ultra hd blu-ray so it's i don't think that's changed still going with freaking I think maybe H- the capacity on the blu-ray is changed still going with good old blu-ray I, can't lose yeah yeah it's sony's brand oh yeah they backed so, that horse yeah so it's going to support 
uh, 4K at 120 hertz, t- 120 hertz TVs, mm-hmm. 8- 8K TVs, and uh, VRR, which I don't understand what that is. I've Maybe virtual reality? No, I think it's like specified by HDMI version 2.1. So oh. I, that, well, that those I of you who do know what that jargon means. Yeah, maybe you could explain to us. And then the audio is supposed to be uh, 3D audio. So, oh, um, that's gonna be sexy. I, I kind of, I'm kind of excited about the 3D audio. I've never experienced 3D audio, so I mean, from what I heard, the audio card, like everything audio on that thing is gonna be like mind blowing. Yeah. So, yep. Now on to the controller. Oh, let's talk which about the controller. I think is sexy. Mm. I don't like the. I don't like that they changed the color. Uh, I like it looks the dual, more like dual color. The dual color looks nice. Mm, it looks like completely flat. No, they don't look like they don't look like actual um, buttons. They look like they're just attached to it, which it's cool. But eh. maybe that's just the the look of it. I thought, As I look I, at the pictures, they they are raised. Are they? Above, okay. Yeah, they are raised. Well, if I'm wrong, yeah, I'm above. happy about that because I don't like the fact that I'm scared to death it's just going to be one big touch screen and that's just more shit to break. You know, that's yeah. that'd be yeah. Sonny's way of going, give us more money. Oh, you just bought a controller? Right. That one broke? <laughs> oh, give us 70 bucks, new controller. 80 bucks. 80, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know that's what it's going to be at. It's going to be more than a con- fucking a game. So uh, that's really going to make their now, bread and butter. They're, not, they're not calling this the DualShock 5. They're calling it the dual stents. The dual so, stents? It's sense, like oh, dual sense. sense. Yes, yes. So so the, the new features on it are like a haptic feedback. So instead of the rumbles, I believe, it's like something like along the lines of the switch rem- remotes. Okay. I know it has uh, a it has a, a, a microphone on. Yes. It's they're supposed to and it, there's a few fe- few features for that. One of them is um, they're trying to get rid of headsets so that you don't have to yes. buy a headset, which, fuck that shit show. I'm still going to buy a headset. And then no. on top of that, that, you can use it for, like, some stupid-ass feature that they're talking about, or I guess, and this is where I hear, I hear it everywhere online, I guess it's something where you can go, like, hey, PlayStation, I can't beat this boss. And it'll be oh, like, yeah. this is how you beat the boss. But if you would, you know, and if you give us a little bit of money, they do, it's like an easy way for them to do microtransactions. Yes. Which yes. PlayStation, I've, I've no, like no, stay the fuck away from that, guys. Come on, like, haven't you, you seen it? Ha- never learned from EA. Yeah, haven't you seen it? Take down big ass companies, so, Sony. You're fucking up, dude. No, get away from that. Like, uh-huh. of course we could just be overreacting to it. Could just be like a a little feature. You know, it might not even be a big yeah. thing. But it might be like how we talk to the PlayStation Four. Well, yeah, but I'm, the voice commands. I'm, t- I'm not even talking about that. The voice commands would be badass. I like that. Yeah. And it's cool it's implemented on the controller. I think I think uh, uh, the Xbox did that as well, right? Or something. I'm not sure. I, mean, yeah, I could I'm be wrong. The, the but, Xbox. yeah, let us know if I'm wrong. Um, yeah. But I think that it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be implemented for, like, you know, the PlayStation do this, PlayStation do that. But they're also going to, well, I'm, I'm more bitching about the microtransactions. Don't do that. Yeah, you know? no. With it's just let's uh, let's get your money any which way possible, and I really hope that's not what they're gonna do. Also, believe from what I've read, they got rid of the share button. It is now called the create button. Hmm. So they're probably gonna do something different with the with that. I'm very excited um, to see what they do with um with the uh well, the, well, the share feature what we know now. Yeah. Um. I'd like to see, because you, as you know, like you can do more as far as uh, streaming on your PC than you can on a uh, on on a console, at least with mm-hmm. the PlayStation Four. It still looks good. It's it's real simple. They simplify. It's like it's like streaming for dummies, more or less. Yeah. But yeah. I'd like to see Which what the next generation for people like me. Well, I mean, for me as well when I first started doing it. Yeah. But I want to see what the next generation console has in store for streaming. Like, can you? Is, is there going to be any way that you can um, that you can imp- like put together your own setup? You know, can you yeah. can you customize stuff? Can you know uh, they did a good job with the last one? Let's see what's next. I can't wait. It's going to be interesting. Yep. Um, what I'm excited for right now is the USB C. Okay. I like USB C. USB C is a great. It charges really fast. Um, I have it for my Samsung phone. Yeah. I 
I think USB-C is the way to go with that. It's better than these, the um, what we have right now because what we have right now takes forever to. Well, oh, I like I like what we have right now simply because I can use any of my Android devices on the same shit. That's yeah. That's probably like what I like. Why I like it so much. And in fact, the uh, the VR, I can charge it using all sorts of shit in my house. Like I have so many cords for that, it's not even a joke. So when the new one comes out, it's kind of gonna be a pain in the ass for me. Mm. Probably for you. Not just yeah. me. A lot of other people. Yeah, especially people with iPhones. Yeah, no names. Wink, wink. <laughs> Had to get the iPhone 11. They came out. I'm kind of excited for the adaptive triggers. I can't wait to see how those are going to play out. Oh, yeah. Supposed to, it's supposed to be like when you push them down, you're supposed to be able to feel a bow or you're supposed to be able to feel going through mud. Oh, so I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. Well, that probably has something to do as well with, like you said, it's like a, it's just the, what do you call it? The quad shock or something like that. Quad shock. It's like a dual shock, but it's a. Uh... Oh, it's a dual sense. Dual sense. dual sense. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that has to do with it being a dual sense. Maybe it just like it knows what you're pushing. It, it's a smart controller, yeah. more or less. And I think that would be that's Might cool. Be. What I don't like is how it looks. I don't like the color scheme change. I don't like. Th- it looks much more like a uh, a Switch Pro controller than it does a PlayStation controller. And I, I'm a, I'm very much the kind of guy that like if it's not broke, don't fix it. You yeah. can you can change it. You can no. make it better, but you didn't have to change the layout of the damn controller. How it looks. I, I I'm digging it. I dig I dig the uh, the uh, the black and white scheme. I think um, it looks ugly. It, it'd be cool if they give you the option to be able to get a black or a white one as well. Oh, you know but, that's I coming. Mean, the, you know what's coming. I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, but you know, you know it's coming. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, you yeah. can buy this, that. You can buy the special edition Jack Off 2.0 controller. You can, you can buy this, that. It, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna, it's, it's all about, you know, what's that called? Merchandising, 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 merchandising. That's what they want. They want, yeah. they want to take that money from thing, your pocket. The only thing I don't like about the design is that I don't know how. I think the, um, the. What are they? The pads underneath are, mm-hmm. are maybe a little bit bigger, longer than the PS4 and the PS, uh, the DualShock 4. So that's the only that's the only way I would think is would maybe take off from the feeling of it, because you would have to well, the way you hold it is you hold it lower, and you'd have to move up higher, and you'd have to move up higher. But people with big hands, it doesn't really affect us. No. So I mean, it's more comfort for me. It took a while for me to get used to the, the way they're they they feel now. Yeah, you know, because if you think about it, from like the first PlayStation controller, play the PS One controller, all the way to now, they've slightly changed. They just changed a little bit. And I think from the PS Two to PS Three, they kind of like more or less perfected what they ended mm-hmm. up going with. You know, because the PS One controllers were uncomfortable as fuck. Hmm. Like I, yeah. I didn't like them. That's just and my humble it, opinion. It looked like they went with a more concave, uh, the concave design, like the PS4 controllers. So I like the concave design on the controller because I find that to be more comfortable. And also, um, I, as I look at it, the the way that the um, the analog sticks are different. Like they they don't have as much uh, space. They look like they don't have as much space, um, like on a PS4 remote, yeah. where you see all the plastic. It looks like they don't have as much. So, where do the um, be... as you're looking at it, where's the um, the the options and the share button or create button the, in this case? They, they look like they're in the same place. Okay. So it looks like the options button, but it doesn't say options anymore. It looks like it's just like three lines. Oh my god. But and then the share button is obviously now is the create button, but it does, I don't think it says create on it. PlayStation, um, stick with a concept. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, this they, the they PlayStation changed. Four was sharing options before that they got completely got rid of the start, start and select more or less. Yeah. And also also the uh, LED in the front of the controller changed to like the sides of the uh, touchpad, which uh-huh. I don't mind. I I wish they would just get rid of the. The um the, touch the LED lights. Oh, the LED. Yeah, no, the LED lights. I, I like the touchpad. Touchpad has its uses. Yeah, I think so too. But 
but uh, LED lights, I think they just waste battery life. I agree with you, but I like some of the functions. Like a good example would be uh, if you play Rock Band, every time the, the stage lights change, mm -hmm. the, the LED lights change. So if you're playing in the dark, it kind of gives you that like... Yeah. Like you're there, you know, or, or GTA five on, uh, you know, when the cops come at you, it blinks red and blue, you know, sure. and it, there's, there's functions that it's just like, kind of like, this is cool. And maybe with yeah. this next, this next generation, they'll have it to where it, uh, it doesn't maybe eat as much battery life. Cause you can mm -hmm. change one of the good things about the PS4 is you can change think, how light, how yeah. bright that light is. I think that's one of the things that they, I read. I just didn't put it down that mm -hmm. they were finding ways to make it more efficient, to make a better battery life, and to make the controller a little lighter. Because as it stands right now, as a um, as a controller, PlayStation Four, the controller for that, it just like when you first get it, it lasts a while, but yeah. as you continue using it, it starts getting worse and worse. Like for a while there, mm -hmm. I had to sit next to my TV. I still do just out of habit now. But it's sitting next to my TV because that bitch would die, and I have to plug it in and play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unlike the PS3 one remote, the DualShock Three, it that that battery lasted forever. Yeah, it, it, I had a lot of good a lot of good uh, stories mm -hmm. with those controllers. Yep. When those fuckers died, they died though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you like the PS4s. Mm -hmm. The PS4 is like, whoa, we're about to die. That was like, boop, yeah, it's just like, oops. Good luck. Your game's not even paused. Your guy's just standing there getting just killed. Da, 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 da. Getting beaten the shit out of. Yeah. So what do you guys think about, like, viewers? You, the viewers, what do you guys think of the of the, the stats and how the controller looks? Let us know. Yeah, let us know down, down below. Because well, I'm, cur I'm curious to know what everyone else thinks. Am I the only one who thinks it's ugly? The controller? Of course there's going to be people who think it's ugly. Well, it, it's it's just, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not big into change, man. Like if something's not broken, don't mm -hmm. fix it. That's just how I look at stuff. Yeah. Like I get upgrading it, making it better. It looks like they're doing that, but at the same mm -hmm. time, they they you don't reinvent the wheel. There's no reason to. Yeah, but uh, the one thing uh, um, I think the pictures, because it's so much white on it, mm -hmm. that it kind of, it kind of, you can't see the like the sharpness of the edges on the sides. As I'll well. give you that. It looks very sleek. Yeah, I think it makes the controller look skinnier. It might make the controller look skinnier and all that. So, I mean... So those of you who rage quit and throw your controller, it's just going to fly through the air that much quicker. And it's going to come back at you. Boomerang. Boomerang. So, as far as the PlayStation 5 goes, I think that's all we've got for that. Yes. Uh, there there be yes. still being a hush-hush about a few things on, on it. And that's good, because they've got about a year before it comes out. Um, no, maybe I less. think they're... They're doing a 2020, uh, maybe a holiday season re release. But yeah, yeah well, I say a year. I mean, like year. we got past summer, next winter. Yeah. Well, from what I've from what I've read about it, it's supposed to be about five hundred dollars. I'll pay five hundred dollars for it. That's just a hundred bucks more than I paid for my PlayStation Four. So fuck it. Mm -hmm. you know? I got the PS4 Pro, so it's about the same price almost. I mean, I'll have to whore myself on the street a little bit to get that extra money, but you know. Hey, it's for for good cause. We'll go ahead and go to the next part of this. Uh, we're going to talk about upcoming games and games that's come out in 2020. Yes. And we're just going to go over the games that are interesting to us. Yeah. Or games that we actually know about. Yeah. Like, a good example, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot came out in January 16th. Yes. Which, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, like, as much as I love Dragon Ball totally sick of playing the same shit over and over again yeah like uh was it was that was and, the fighting games that came out tenkashi or whatever it's called what's that was um, it? budokai the, the one the one before that though was uh dragon oh, ball fighters universe z. And, oh and fighter z and it's yeah, all the same shit fighters yeah. they just add little things here like he he good job you like us right yeah, yeah. or they made massive micro transactions yeah it's it's getting to the point where fuck that i'm done like I'm, i can only play it so much and still be excited like mm -hmm. budokai yeah. was cool back in the day and they're budokai still Tenkaichi. they're budokai still selling Tenkaichi. it to us like it's budokai and yeah i mean that was how long ago budokai came out fuck 2000 oh, I or don't uh know. PlayStation 2 era, I think. Maybe th 2 and 3. And then Xenoverse oh, and 4. But it was a while ago. So, 
you know, too little, too late for for yeah. Dragon Ball Kakarot. I mean, it looked good, but yeah. they they hyped it to the point where I was like, no. It's the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remastered. I, I wish it would tell us what it's coming out on, but I guess. Yeah. Oh, it says PlayStation Four. Okay. Yeah, I I've never played Crystal Chronicles, so I wouldn't know. No, it was fun. It wasn't like a super big game, but it was it was fun for what it was. Uh, let's Apparently see. Apparently, that one's already out. Yeah, it came out twenty um, third of January. Mm-hmm. Dark Siders um, Genesis. That mm-hmm. one, I'm I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm actually playing the Dark Siders two right now because I've never good played games. any of the Dark Siders before. So I'm I hear they're that. good games. I've never really played yeah. them. I hear they're hard as fuck. Yeah. Dude. Uh, February fourteenth, Dark Siders Genesis came out. Um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms five billion. I I'm, I've never been a big fan of that. I, I don't know what that is. It's uh, I want to say it's an RPG. I've got I've got yeah. some of the old ones. Let's see, Doom um, Eternal. Doom, we know that one, yes. right? Yes, that one. I was looking forward to it. I just haven't picked it up yet because all this um, uh, mm. quarantine and all <laughs> that. I haven't been able to pick up some of the newer games. Yeah. So and I just I get shit like off it. of PlayStation Network. Yeah. I like be buying the. Uh, the physical copies you want to hold it in your hand yeah I feel yeah you. so on certain games i like physical copies because well i'm a i like to collect the, if you're uh, a big persona fan persona yeah. 5 royale came out march 31st which never mm. played a persona game i i've I played really it back game. on the playstation 2 it was the mind fuck but it was fun now one that i've been very very excited for ever since it i heard it was coming out resident evil 3 the remake yep it's already um, out yeah i haven't picked it up yet april 3 but i played resident evil 3 nemesis so much when I was young that oh yeah I, I i always got stuck on the spot on a certain spot and then i finally was able to beat it after that, I beat the game so many times. I enjoy that game. Well, like, your tone on your phone was stars for the longest time. Yeah. yeah. No, it still is. Oh, well. And then... A uh, Nemesis is my favorite tyrant. It's a good... It's a good... Uh, it. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to play it. I, I, hadn't, I hadn't got it yet, but I'll probably get it in the future. And when I when I even did a... I played the demo. It was Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, I, yep. That, that, one, that one I'm excited for, too. Yeah. Trials of Mana. the rumor that that it's going to be cut up into parts oh it's yeah it's episodic which that's yeah, not a rumor that's that's happening i i don't want to pay 60 bucks for a game that's not finished yeah and it's going to feel that's like it not... but the, the thing is is they say they can add more that that's the upside to this they say they can add more uh to the story they can put more in that way yeah so no, but it's yeah more in to fill it up so you can pay again for another one yeah exactly it'll be like 12 freaking episodes yeah and then, i don't like so I I rather just buy the 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 original and play it like that instead I get of buying playing the remake. I get it. And I understand fact, that. On my, on my Switch, I could buy the original for fourteen bucks. Yeah, it's super bucks. super cheap. I mean, yeah. it's cheap on I think all the consoles and I think even the PC. I'm not sure if it's on the PC. I think it is. But I have I have a, my PS3. Well, with the download of it mm-hmm. when I bought it, the classic. The only thing is, I got the yellow light of death, so I'm not able to play it. Anymore. So yeah. the next one's Trials of Mana, which is April 24th, which is, um, I want to say, kind of a sequel to Secret of Mana. Or maybe it's a prequel. I, I can't tell. I never. I, I've only played a little bit of it, but it, that's the one I'm looking for. It's it's basically Trials of Mana uh, remastered. They put better graphics yeah. in, so that's that's exciting. Predator Hunting Grounds is another good one. Mm, April 24th. Ever since- Ever since that last Predator game, I mean the uh, Aliens game, I don't really go for Aliens and Predator games okay. anymore. April twenty fourth, that comes out. Iron Man VR, virtual reality. I, I remember you were excited about that one, but I believe that one was pushed back. I, uh, you know what, I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt it. It's May fifteenth here, but I doubt. I it, if it, it, some of these might be pushed back. So yeah, some of them, some of them. Um, I was I'm excited about it simply because it's just a cool. I it's just it's a cool idea. It depends on how they do it. I was excited about the Ghostbusters VR too, and they they fucked that right up. So yeah. they might do that with this. You never know. So so continuing down. Hey, we got FIFA 21. Uh, fuck FIFA. Just kidding. The Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. I believe that one got 
pushback too. Don't quote us on this, but that one actually looks like a uh, uh, it's going to be a pretty good game to play. Well, they've been hyping it, and I'm excited. Yeah. I, I think uh, Keanu Reeves uh, is in it. Yep. The only thing is, is when they overhype, always yeah. messes up. Just like uh, what was it, Anthem? Yeah. Oh, they overhyped that, and look what happened. Well, they they overhyped a few games. Like a good example would be uh, uh, Death Stranding. They overhyped yes. the fuck out of that game. I, I just, I actually, I got, when I first heard about it, I was excited, and then they like barely put any information out about it, and they just overhyped it. Get this game, get this game, get this game. And I finally watched it, and I, I actually it came out, and I got seen Boy. a little about it, and I just got tired. I was like, no, sorry. Yeah. Dying Light Two it's, is uh, another game, but be, it's yes. it says to be see here, so I'm assuming it said means to be concluded. And Dying Light Two is a it's a, a zombie game, which fuck oh, yeah! I can't I can't wait. So last the last of us part two as well. Mm-hmm. They they had it coming out, but ever since this uh, virus, they pushed it back to the clicker you know, zombies. Made yeah, push back. Yeah, and the last of us part two a lot, myself included, because I just got done playing the Last of Us one again, mm-hmm. like for the fiftieth thousandth time. But I love that game so much; it was worth playing. Um, yeah. But it, it, it's such a good story, so yeah, you know it's too bad to see it being pushed back. But we'll see. I mean, it um, might be good one, too. Yes. Another one also is the Destroy All Humans. I was just uh, about remake. to say that. Yeah. Um, I was a fan of that game when I had it on first Xbox, mm-hmm. and I loved it. I played it on that I think the like, PlayStation uh, One or Two, but it was two. Yeah, it was very, very cool. I love playing it. And the concept of that game, it was just, it was just a fun game to play. Mm-hmm. That game. Vampire that the Masquerade really Bloodlines 2, which has also been pushed back. It was supposed to come out this year, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that, that's I, another I'm game. Not, that's, I don't know, but it, it, I could be wrong. Either way, the, the game, uh, the, first, the first Bloodlines was like a, an old, old, older game, and it was fucking cool. Uh, really cool storyline. The name of this one is, is kind of funny. Rainbow Six Quarantine. <laughs> Awkward. So I don't I don't buy uh, Rainbow Six games because I've had ever since Rainbow Six. Uh, Rainbow Six, I think Siege. Yeah. I bought it one time and I, I thought it was just a terrible, terrible game. So <laughs> I don't I don't pick up those games at all anymore. Gods and Monsters sounds cool. I don't, I don't know about that game. I've never heard about it. Uh, Little Nightmares, I've seen the first one played. Little Nightmares 2 is 2BC, TBC, Oddworld, Soulstorm. Uh, then I think that, that as far as the list goes, that's it, man. Yep. Wow. Doesn't look like. Well, I'm sure there's gonna be. I'm sure they're gonna. There's gonna be more. Uh, they, they, we honestly, we had a big list. We just went over the ones we cared about, like, and some mm-hmm. of the ones we didn't. So. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil Three. <laughs> oh well, Resident Evil it, it's out already. I and I've heard nothing but good things about about uh, about that that game with Nemesis. And I guess Nemesis is even smarter in this one. And it I, so I'm very yeah. Well, though, everything's better looking. Uh, oh, on top of that, I guess there's a uh, uh, co-op mode. For real? Yeah, I guess there's like a. It's like almost like a Left 4 Dead kind of co-op mode. That would be cool to play. That's what I was thinking. So, I mean, you get it. Maybe when I get paid again, I'll buy it. and We'll do some co-op. We'll survive stars. (laughs) See what what some of the people... I actually want to see how they... Because they changed the beginning of it, I believe. Mm -hmm. I've seen like a trailer. Well, there was a demo out, I think, at one point. Yeah, I don't play demos. No, well, it ruins the game. I'll play I'll play demos to an extent. Like, uh, if depending on the game, if it's something I'm really hyped about, like Final Fantasy mm-hmm. VII, re, uh, the remake, I'll check it out. I want to see what it's going to be about. I want to see what I'm what it yeah. looks like. You know, I haven't played demos since like the PS3 because I remember when the PS3 first came out, demos were like abundant. Oh, everywhere. You know. Yeah. But they, they also the, hype demos as well. Like, you know, the Resident Evil 3 demo was hyped. The Final Fantasy VII demo was hyped. When uh, Battlefront 1 and 2 came out, Star Wars mm-hmm. Battlefront 1 and 2 came out, they hyped the shit out of those. I played both of those, so. I, I liked Battlefront 2 better, but it's not as good as the Well, one you barely got to play one. Like, you remember you got on that one time, and you played yeah. the first time with us. We were having a good game, and you, you couldn't do shit. Like, the game was mm-hmm. so laggy. It was no joke. So. Yep. I guess we're done. I think uh, 
That concludes episode 122. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a safe time here. I hope you guys are staying safe. We want you guys to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Always.